Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be making shish kebabs on my new electric grill that a company has reached out to me, wanted me to check it out. I already did the video on this grill, uh, but the link will be in the description below if you want one. Uh, it was supposed to be on an open fire. <laughs> Uh, we had a camping trip planned uh, yesterday we were supposed to go and it rained all day long now, I don't mind it raining after I'm there and set up but when I'm setting up in the rain and I get soaking wet and the tent gets wet until you get it set up it's all soaked inside it it's it, it's miserable so we decided not to go yesterday so we might go out and do a little fishing tonight I don't know I reserved the spot for uh last night and tonight so but today the sun's shining it was it was supposed to rain today too so anyway <laughs> let's just go ahead and uh let's get everything cut up and i'll explain to you what we're going to be doing So first of all, we're going to start off cutting up our vegetables. <clears throat> we have orange, red, yellow, and green peppers. Uh, they're just bell peppers. We have an onion here. Um, and I have one more of each one of these if I need them. But first thing, I'm going to start off with the onion. And... Um, this knife here has been amazing. I've never sharpened this knife. I've had it, I don't know, four years now or something like that. So, first thing I'm gonna do is peel our onion back a little bit. So our camping trip didn't go as planned so like I said I don't mind because I wanted to do these on a fire and uh, she was gonna bring her mom out and have supper with us out at the campsite but uh, you know the rain thing <laughs> it just like I said um, if I'm setting up and I get soaked it's just miserable for me after that <clears throat> you know your tank gets wet inside and because you know your doors are open your windows are open as you're setting it up and it's pouring down rain and you get it set up by the time you get the rain fly on it's soaked inside uh, once that happens it's like to me it's miserable now if I'm already set up and I got a nice dry place to go into I'm good with that okay <laughs> So, I'm just going to cut, let me see, just going to cut some of the singing up here, we're just going to put them on these skewers is all we're going to do. I think she's got some, um, Mushrooms in there. I'm gonna put on a few for us, but I gotta be real careful because I can't get any of that on anything I cook for her mom because her mom is definitely allergic to mushrooms. So I have to be careful when I cook. Um, so anyway, this is gonna be all right for now. Let's just move this off of here, and I'll just show you one of these um, because. Uh, well, you know, they're all going to be the same, so, um, there's so many different ways you can cut these things. I just do it different every time because I like to do different stuff. Here. 
So like this, just going to kind of like cube them, I guess you can say, not cubing, cube them, just something like that, just so they can, you know, slide onto the sticks. Got plenty of bamboo sticks over here. Make them whatever size you want. I like this, you know, a couple inches, inch by inch, whatever. Um, okay, so. But, yeah, that's all I'm going to do with these. Get these seeds out of here. We don't need the seeds in this. If I was going to put this in chili or something, it wouldn't matter, but. These aren't hot peppers, but I have made shish kebabs before. Uh, to where I used uh, jalapeno peppers, habanero peppers. And I'm just going to do this. And we've got a bunch of meat. What I'm going to use for the meat is we're just going to use uh, stew, stewed meat, beef. Um, you can use the beef tips, but they're so expensive. And the last few times we paid for beef tips, they were so tough. Um, we just started buying the stewed, the stewed beef, and. Uh, they were pretty tender, good flavor, so like when I make beef stew and whatnot. Um, making a mess. Alright, I'm gonna get these cut up and then I'll bring out the meat. We'll start making our, we'll start putting the meat and vegetables on our skewers. All right, here's our all, all our vegetables cut up. And um, let's go ahead and get our meat and we'll start putting our meat and vegetables on our skewers. Then we'll get our grill fired up. Okay guys, so here's our meat. I just took it out of the fridge, so I'm gonna let it set for a few minutes. Um, this has been marinating in the, some of that brine you see. That's not bad meat, it's not pre-cooked. This has been marinating in uh, teriyaki sauce overnight. So, and a little bit of soy sauce, uh, some Worcestershire sauce, um, just a few sauces has been marinating all night. So I am gonna let this set out for a little bit, maybe 20 minutes, and then, uh, I actually should have had it setting out longer than that, but then we'll go ahead and we'll start making up our skewers. Okay guys, we've let these set for a while. Um, I've got more of these. Um, these are probably not going to be enough, but I got to... I use these for everything and I like these, these kind. I have some stainless steel ones, but I like these when we're camping because when we're done with them, we can just throw them in the fire. They're bamboo, they're wood, they'll burn. So I'm just gonna start, take a piece of meat, just leave you enough hanging over there to work with so you can turn it on your grill. There's no rhyme or reason to do this, just however you wanna do it. We've got plenty of meat here, so. Got onion. Oh yeah, better put an onion on here. Her mom will shoot me if I don't put an onion on it. Okay. Well, no, she won't. She don't have a gun, but. And we're just going to keep doing this. <clears throat> Some of these you might want to double over. And if you get one that's like really big, you may want to cut it in half. Uh, so it'll cook more even. A couple pieces of meat. We're gonna get some more vegetables on here. Red one on. 
I may have to cut up some more vegetables. I may do a couple with just meat only. And there you go. Nice kebab. I'm just going to lay them in this tray here. This actually goes to the grill. We're not going to be using that because I want to see if I can get some grill marks. Um, I've never... I told Monkey I never cooked on an electric grill. That was a lie. I have because I remember my oldest daughter's mom, her parents got us one for Christmas. Now this is back in like 1990 and um, got us one for Christmas one year. It was round. It was electric grill and it was round and it was ceramic and it just had a had a burner in it it was kind of small but it had a burner in it that you couldn't adjust you just plugged it in and it pretty much got hot and that was that the first time I used it I remember why I didn't use it now because the first time I used it the side of a cracked, a perfect crack right down the side of it and I said no more <laughs> so when the company got a hold of me on this one I did some checking before I told them I would do it. And uh, a lot of people liked it. So I was like, sure, send it to me and, and you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And so first time I used it, I cooked steaks and it seemed to turn out really well with the steaks. So I thought we were going to do shish kebabs this weekend, but, uh, of course, we, we didn't get to go camping. It's kind of a big piece of meat. I probably shouldn't cut it in half. But just keep an eye on it. Just try to get your meat, you know, about the same size. But there, that's, that's all you gotta do. And like I said, I'm gonna do some with mushrooms, but I'm gonna make her mom's first because, you know, the mushroom thing. I don't want to kill mom, so um, I'm going to do hers first, and then I'll do some with mushrooms. Cut a piece of this off here, this meat. make about four for her mom mm. yeah. uh, get another piece of meat on the end there kind of helps hold everything together there just like that so let me get a couple couple of these made up a couple more I'm probably gonna make about four for her mom and then we'll start up the grill and we'll put them on the grill we'll cook them up and see how it does on the grill okay what I've done was I heated this it goes up to five which is like 465 degrees uh, I put it on five for a couple minutes to get these this grill nice and hot and there we go nice little sizzle I turned it down to about Let's put it on about three and a half. I'm gonna put them on there like this. And we're gonna let these cook. Now, <clears throat> I just leave them on the sticks and if somebody wants to take them off, they can. Uh, most people do, a lot of guys I see, especially the, the camping channels, man. All they do is wraps, everything's wraps. They'll make it on here, they'll take it off, which is fine, but then they'll put it in a wrap. But like a lot of them, they'll bring these wraps because they say, oh, they're easier to pack and stuff, but then they'll bring cans of stuff or they'll bring, you know, a cast iron skillet. And I'm like, how's that easier? You know, you're just trading off. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, in fact, I'm gonna turn this up to four. And we're just gonna turn them every couple minutes. Smells amazing. And you can season these however you want. I mean, they're, 
they're shish kebabs do with them what you want right so while that's cooking I'm gonna wipe this off and I'm gonna make up a some more for monkey and I and uh, but we'll come back to this in just a minute so these are cooking up nicely they're almost done depending on how you like your meat too whether you want it medium rare medium well medium or rare whatever but of course if you're using chicken or turkey or something you're going to want it done I've got some stuff I've got eight of them made up here I've got two of them these have mushrooms I've got two that's just all meat I have a lot of meat left over over here so what I'm going to do is after I make these ones I'm going to clean this pan off here and I'm going to make something like a stir fry with the leftover vegetables I still got some uh, some mushrooms I got some onions still got some stuff left over I got um, still got quite a bit of meat left over so what I'll do is I'll just kind of like make a stir fry up in there and uh, yeah so that'll be good so I think these are just about ready to take off uh, I love the drip trays in here they come out real easy um, I did turn it up to number four yeah so I think those are about done so I'm gonna go ahead and put these on a plate for her mom um, it's kind of a big piece of meat there I'm gonna give this another couple minutes and this one's got a big big piece of meat a couple minutes I'll get this plated up I'll show it to you and then I'm gonna make those ones up and then uh, we'll do kind of like a stir-fry on that little griddle okay so there's mom's what'd you say they were monkey what you said they're pretty yeah they're pretty <laughs> yeah they're colorful uh -huh. so I'm gonna make ours next and then we'll do another dish with the uh, with the griddle part now this is an electric smokeless grill and I can tell you I can barely see little puffs of smoke and that's only when the meat grease drips down onto the burner but other than that there is as you can see there is no smoke so I know a guy reviewed one of these on YouTube he was like oh look at all that smoke I think he had it jacked up too high or something he was burning it I don't know but Um, I'm, I'm hardly seeing any smoke other than like I said when it drips down onto the grill part or the burner part then I'll see a little bit but other than that I'm, I'm kind of impressed with this so I'm going to go ahead and get these cooked up then we'll start because they do take a few minutes then we'll tar start tart we will start our next dish also those drip pans they do recommend you put a little bit of water in each one of them i didn't do that i forgot i did it now <laughs> might be too late it's just easier for cleanup okay we've got our grill in here now i turned it all the way up so this can get nice and warm well i guess we're out of all of the oil we'll just use some of this now this is non-stick now I think I'll put a couple pads of butter on there just for flavoring.
Now you can just dip out what you want. Okay guys, so there you go. Our shish kebabs on a smokeless grill. Um, you will get a little bit of smoke if you're using the griddle part of it. That's just grease and stuff. You can't help that. Uh, nothing's smokeless. But as far as the grill, I think it did pretty good. Uh, so we've made three dishes so far with that grill. Uh, two tonight, so I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Sorry I couldn't get a camping video for you out, but uh, it's kind of hard to be, you know, cooped up in a tent for hours at a time, like a lot of the, uh, the, the solo campers and stealth campers. That's why they go at almost dark time and get out early in the morning. Because, quite frankly, if you got to be bedded down or you know, because of a of a storm or. It, it, it gets pretty boring. I mean, just sitting in a tent, you know, for hours on hours, hours upon hours, it's, uh, yeah, it gets a little, it's a little boring. But, uh, so, but, uh, yeah, so that's why they do that. Um, it's not, well, so I don't get caught. We got to do this under cover of darkness. No, it's not. And that's why they do the, the one night a week thing. They go out, camp one night, and they're done. Um, because really they're only there about 12 hours and and it does it gets gets pretty boring you know once you eat what do you do you know um that's why there's so many uh wood processing in their videos you know you gotta show cutting the wood up and chopping it up and starting a fire and lighting your lanterns and stuff because it's just hard to you know after you do it 30 40 times you're running out of stuff to do so hopefully you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you watching and uh, everyone stay safe. So uh, have a good Saturday night. Have a, enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth Man, Legend. I'm gone for now. And uh, bye bye guys. Take care.